And look at Fitbit. It's down despite a terrific showing in its quarterly profits, which were the best in its history. Come on in, CEO James Park joining us this morning. James, welcome back to the program. Good to see you again. Um, now, you killed it with those earnings. It was terrific. I think you are the victim of these expectations from the analysts. The analysts say, we're expecting you to make this. But if you only make a little tiny bit lower, they kill your stock. I think you, sir, are a victim today. Well, as you said, you know, we had the best quarter in the eight-year history of the company, so really proud of that accomplishment. Um, you know, but it is strange. We handily beat uh, both our guidance and actually uh, Wall Street consensus as well. You may, I think, uh, by my calculation, you've lost, you personally have lost $100 million today. That does make you a victim, I think. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't really think about it that way. Um, you know, that, that's pretty short term. You know, for me, I'm really focused on heads down execution on, on the long term prospects for the business. You don't look terribly disappointed. I'm surprised. You turn in record earnings, um, they're terrific, and the stock goes down. Big. Look, all we can do is, is execute and perform really well. Um, we can't really control what the public markets do. But um, I'm pretty sure if we continue our performance that um, shareholders will be, uh, will be happy. Uh, well, James, jo Jolene Kent is with me. She knows more about this than I do, so I'll turn it over to her. Jo. James, hey. So I wanted to ask you about sales. You had 4.5 million devices sold in the second quarter. You're expected to do even better in the fourth quarter. As you look at the Apple Watch not necessarily doing as well, how does that change how you're approaching the market and selling these wearables to consumers at home? I can't comment too much on Apple, but in general, you know, uh, we don't feel that we're, in, we're targeting the same type of consumer. Uh, we have a wide range of products with different price points, styles, form factors, et cetera. And the, the missions of the companies are very different. Fitbit's mission is really to use technology to help people get healthier and more active uh, by giving them data, inspiration, and guidance. And um, consumers love our products, and you know, we're, we're always excited to, to help people lead healthier lives. All right, interesting answer there. I guess uh, as people continue to want to lead healthier lives, as you mentioned, you know, do you think you're going to be able to perform at the expectation level that we see that Stuart was just talking about, especially in the holiday season when perhaps we see updates on other types of devices? Can Fitbit deliver? Will you guys have new products? What will they look like? Yeah, we're not setting guidance on any new products, but um, on our earnings call yesterday, uh, we raised our guidance for Q3 uh, and for the full year. Um, and again, uh, all we can do is uh, continue to execute on the business as we have in the past. James Park, CEO, Fitbit, thanks very much for joining us, sir. $100 million Great. poorer, but still smiling. All right, mm -hmm. thanks very much, James. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm.